Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing a song called Timeless by Drunken Tiger uh, featuring RM. <coughs> now, Drunken Tiger is a very uh, well-known rapper. He is one of the the pioneers of modern rap in South Korea. He's a person I uh, know a lot about. Um, I don't know him personally. I, I've hung out with uh, his former rap partner his name was uh dj shine um yeah i mean or or i know a lot of people he knows um an interesting story is uh <coughs> i had a friend who was a fashion designer in new york uh he and i we, we took a trip to la and we landed in jfk and one of his friends came uh, to pick him up now this person happened to be a m very famous manager in in the rap world in in the u.s in new york so <clears throat> we were listening to some korean rap now this was like maybe 10 years ago a long time ago um and he was blown away specifically he was blown away with uh Yoon Mire, uh, his his uh, jaw dropped. He was like, "Oh my God, who is this?" Um, you know, he, she should come to the U.S. And we also let him listen to uh, Drunken Tiger. <coughs> uh, he liked him. He liked him a lot. He didn't like uh, DJ Shine as much, but uh, he did like uh, Tiger JK, and he thought both of those people had. Uh, potential to enter the US um, <coughs> and they've had m multiple opportunities uh, particularly um, Yun Mire uh, T or Tasha or whatever whatever she's called uh, these days but uh, yeah she never took the offer up um, you know uh, I think uh, John Legend was in Korea a couple years back and um, they went to karaoke together and he again he was floored by her by her talents um, so much that he called his managers back in the US and uh, demanded that uh, uh, he be able to perform with her while he was in Korea uh, also, they uh, the, that couple also met uh, Jay Z and Beyonce when they came to Korea. I think they hung out at a, at a club. So I mean, they've had multiple multiple opportunities, but they never uh, took advantage of it. I think they're happy. Well, I know she is happy. Uh, where with what where she is right now? I don't know if J K is. Um, <coughs> we'll talk about that more after the video actually uh, because I do have some things to say but uh, I do like him I do I, I grew up listening to him um, I mean he's not like my number one number one uh, in terms of rapping but uh, I nevertheless I do like him let's, let's start the video I'm talking too much Oh my god. Bring me back to the old school. That's a lyric from his old song. It's 
하나 둘 거꾸로 돌아가는 반주 플레이버 틀의 마술 같은 벤자민의 단추 상처는 화폭이 담은 화가의 나누기 계산이 필요 없는 정선의 산수 주변의 나무기체 본 모습 감춘 사등산 물물 아닌 사등강의 정치 전지 오늘도 맑은 미세먼지 연기 안 했던 굴뚝 밑에 번진 뜻 서분 도문 부러져 버린 노랑 연필 시간이 많아질 원인 결과의 법칙 RM 두세 번 생각하는 말투 플레이버 틀의 마술 같은 벤자민의 단추 It's timeless It's timeless It's timeless It's timeless. Nula Benjamin and Danchu. We deep T. Yeah, how much you don't get out? Charge the Gina Moku Mongo the Lomo Gana Sunga. I remember. You bunch from the Tongi. That's another uh, Tongi Tiger Lord. Yeah, remember. Yes, we could on Roger Moham with me on the Shiga and send your brown on the girl. Talk on silk contact in a Simon John's dredge man. The Gunga, the Pyongs and the Hamke Hai Gogi get Shama. Look where Sucha, look where Pyongi jump, look where North Face. Chigum and Pike of Watch Man, you got what I'm saying? Your whole life was a day concert. Good ego talk on silk, can you raise another mind? This will never be the last, but it will forever last. This will be a past, but fast, supposed to be fast. Hoping for the best, but see you already blast. All your script was blast, so don't you worry. That sample in the back, the music. Oh my god. Okay, okay. The instrumental using those samples is amazing. Listen. This is the kind of music I grew up with listening to in Korea. Uh, I am definitely one of the people um, who knows all of uh, the Drunken Tiger songs. So there were a lot of um, <coughs> references to his old songs, old, old songs. Um, and I do appreciate the old school hip hop. This is uh, Drunken Tiger at his best. And I do also think this is RM at his best when he when he does bring it back to the old school, um, because that's where his soul is, his musical soul. RM, you know, this is this is him. This is him. If you strip away <coughs> the idol, the you know all of that, this is who he was meant to be. Um, and it's a shame because he's, he was born in the wrong era. Um, and speaking of eras, I'm glad that they did this together because both of them really, really uh, show their potential, their max potential in a song like this. Uh, Drunken Tiger, I mean, he's currently in a band called in a group called MFBTY, uh, which is not bad, but um, he, like other rappers from that era, which is not even like an era from a long time ago, it's like maybe five years ago and before, five, ten years ago, those rappers are essentially undergoing an identity crisis because they really don't know how to make music anymore. Um, <clears throat> 
This is a ne never, and this is apparent in in, in today's uh, Western hip hop music industry. And a good example of that is um, Jay Z. He's not relevant mo anymore musically. Uh, his rap style does not fit today's uh, modern uh, rap. And Drunken Tiger is an example of that. And there are so many examples. And I know people in Drunken Tiger's circle who have ac actually just given up music, making music or rapping, because they tell me they don't know today's rap. They can't understand it. And they don't know how to make music anymore. Um, Eminem is, is becoming like that. The new generation of rappers and the older generation. There was never any gaps, uh, generational gaps between rappers um, like there is today. And Drunken Tiger, no matter how hard he... he you can tell with his songs um, in MFBTY that he's trying to change up his style to match with today's styles. But he can't do it. I mean, he tries to play around and, and get silly, and but it's not him. It's not him, and um, he has a certain identity and certain style he can't shed because uh, that's who he was. And just trying to change, trying to rap uh, in new styles. It, it, I can see, I can see that's not who he is, and it's not 100% uh, uh, him, I guess. That's the right way to phrase it. One generation too late, probably, because he should have been uh, rapping probably 10 years ago, and he would have been, you know, I mean, put away the idol away him being a, a world star a world pop star he would have been a very very talented and well-known and popular uh, rapper in Korea I, I'm certain of that his style his his tone of rapping um, certainly his lyrics and, and, and you know it, <laughs> it just hit the wrong the wrong era um, and I don't know. I, I I do have a feeling that this kind of uh, modern rap right now, I think it'll revert back. It's not uh, a really sustainable style of rap. I think I think there will be a movement towards the old school, and you know, it's it's actually happening already. But <clears throat> I do think that style will make a comeback um, because right now, today's modern rap, we've lost a lot. We've lost too much to just throw that away and just move forward because right now, move. I mean, it does sound okay. Sounding okay and then meanings, the meanings behind it. Uh, or not as deep as before. <clears throat> um, so I think we're going to recover um, some of our, our lost our lost past. I don't even know if that makes sense to you, but uh, I think there will be a movement towards um, the older school hip hop styles. Um, was there anything else I wanted to say? No, I think that's it. I mean, I'm I'm sorry for mumbling. But uh, okay, regarding the song, it's very old school. It's very Drunken Tiger. It's Drunken Tiger at its best. Um, and instead of G DJ Shine, we have RM. <laughs> um, and they fit really well together. I think they fit well, m more well than actually when DJ Shine was, was there. Because DJ Shine, there was a, uh, a drop off in talent between Tiger JK and RM. Tiger JK and DJ Shine, I'm sorry. But uh, RM is seamless here with, with uh, JK and they have a really good uh, 
a really good uh, vibe together. And, um, you know, I can appreciate that sound because it's something I grew up with. The, the sample they used was very, very good. Um, it had that swag, and that hard-hitting uh, beat. Um, you know, hip-hop didn't really change for, uh, for a long time. So you were using those kind of samples. You had the scratching in the back, um, a couple of voice samples here and there. That's how you lay the track, and then all you do is, you know, spit fire. And it was like that for like 10 years, I guess. Yeah, 10 years. Um, and there wasn't that, sh that much uh, movement or, or, or change uh, within uh, the hip hop uh, scene. And, um, you know, it's refreshing to. To hear this, to hear the sound again, because it's 100% pure, pure old school. Something you would have heard about 15 years ago, you know. Anyways, to give a uh, rating, I'd say it is a... <clears throat> a 95. And... Um, I do think uh, Tiger JK was just on fire in this song. I don't know whose song this is, RM's or Tiger's. Uh, I think it's Tiger's, but he was on fire. He was on fire. Um, I really like the RM's tone of voice because it matched well with the song and Tiger. Um, his rhymes were all right. I mean, they, they're not his finest work. Um, it could have been better, but, uh, you know, pretty good, acceptable, I think. And yeah, yeah, I think, uh, 95 is an accurate assessment. I've been mumbling way too much, um, and I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys. Bye.